Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more updates. Topic for today's quiz is Democracy and Diversity. Question number 1. How did the San Jose State University honor Tommy Smith and Carlos? Option A. By giving them bravery award. Option B. By installing their states in the university campus. Option C. By starting a sports organization in their name. Option D. By giving them jobs. The correct answer is. Option B. By installing their states in the university campus. In 2205, the San Jose State University installed a 20-foot high sculpture representing the protest by Tommy Smith and John Carlos. Question number 2. Who led the civil rights movement in the USA? Option A. Martin Luther. Option B. Martin Davis. Option C. Martin Luther King Jr. Option D. Benjamin Franklin. The correct answer is. Option C. Martin Luther King Jr. Civil Rights Movements in the USA, 1954-1968, led by Martin Luther King Jr. refers to a set of events and reform movements aimed at abolishing legal racial discrimination against African Americans. Question number 3. When did the civil rights movement take place in the USA? Option A. 1952-1958. Option B. 1954-1968. Option C. 1960-1978. Option D. 1946-1968. The correct answer is. Option B. 1954-1968. Civil Rights Movement in the USA, 1954-1968 refers to a set of events and reform movements aimed at abolishing legal racial discrimination against African Americans. Question number 4. Which of these sentences is not correct about the Black Power Movement? Option A. It emerged in 1966. Option B. It lasted till 1975. Option C. It was a more militant movement. Option D. It advocated peaceful methods. The correct answer is Option D. It advocated peaceful methods. Black Power Movement emerged in 1966 and lasted till 1975, which was a more militant anti racist movement, advocating even violence if necessary to end racism in the US. Question number 5. What was special about the 1968 Olympics held at Mexico City? Option A. Protest by African American athletes against the rag discrimination of African Americans. Option B. All the gold medals went to U.S. athletes. Option C. Mexico City supported the demand. Option D. U.S. government announced the end of racism. The correct answer is. Option A. Protest by African American athletes against the rag discrimination of African Americans. In the 1968 Olympics held at Mexico City, African Americans had won the gold and bronze medals. It shows the protest by African American athletes against the rag discrimination of African Americans. Question number 6. What is a society with similar kinds of people called? Option A. Humane. Option B. Humble. Option C. Homogeneous. Option D. Heterogeneous. The correct answer is. Option C. Homogeneous. Homogeneous society is a society that has similar kinds of people, especially where there are no significant ethnic differences. Question number 7. Which of these is incorrect about the Catholic Christians of Northern Ireland? Option A. They are likely to be poor. Option B. They may have suffered a history of discrimination. Option C. Catholics have lived peacefully with Protestants. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Catholics have lived peacefully with Protestants. Catholics are also more likely to be poor, and you may have suffered a history of discrimination. The Netherlands, class, and religion tend to cut across each other. Question number 8. 
Name the prominent religious group in Northern Ireland and the Netherlands. Option A. Judaism. Option B. Christianity. Option C. Islam. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option B. Christianity. Northern Ireland and the Netherlands both are predominantly Christian but divided between Catholics and Protestants. Question number 9. Which of the community in India was in a more or less similar position as that of blacks in the USA? Option A. Brahmins. Option B. Dalits. Option C. Vaishyas. Option D. Kshatriyas. The correct answer is. Option B. Dalits. In our country, Dalits tend to be poor and landless. They often face discrimination and injustices more or less position as that of blacks in the USA. Question number 10. Which of the sentence is correct? Option A. Social differences divide similar people from one another. Option B. They also unite every different people. Option C. Every social difference does not lead to social division. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. Every social difference does not lead to social division. Social differences divide similar people from one another, but they also unite every different people. Question number 11. Which of these statements is correct? Option A. Political expression of social divisions is very normal. Option B. The assertion of social diversities in a country need not be seen as a source of danger. Option C. It allows disadvantaged groups to express their grievances. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option B. The assertion of social diversities in a country need not be seen as a source of danger. The assertion of social diversities in a country need not be seen as a source of danger. In a democracy, the political expression of social divisions is very normal and can be healthy. Question number 12. What is the percentage of Protestant Christians in Northern Ireland? Option A. 52. Option B. 53. Option C. 54. Option D. 55. The correct answer is. Option B. 53. Northern Ireland's population is divided into two major sectors of Christianity mainly 53% are Protestants while 44% are Roman Catholics. Question number 13. Which of these sentences is not true? Option A. Democracy involves competition among various political parties. Option B. Their competition tends to unite the country if the complete in terms of existing social divisions. Option C. Social divisions change into political division and lead to conflict, violence etc. Option D. It can even lead to the disintegration of the country. The correct answer is. Option B. Their competition tends to unite the country if the complete in terms of existing social divisions. Democracy involves competition among various political parties. Social divisions change into political divisions and lead to conflict, violence, etc. It can even lead to the disintegration of the country. Question number 14. Which one of these examples of not accommodating other communities demands? Option A. Sri Lanka. Option B. Yugoslavia. Option C. Belgium. Option D. Both I and B. The correct answer is. Option D. Both I and B. The Tamil community in Sri Lanka and in Yugoslavia. The leaders of different ethnic communities presented their demands in such a way that these could not be accommodated within a single country. Question number 15. Dealing with social divisions in which one of the following statements is not correct about democracy. Option A. In a democracy it is possible for communities to voice their grievances in a peaceful manner. Option B. Democracy is the best way to accommodate social diversity. Option C. Due to political competition in a democracy, social divisions get reflected in politics. Option D. Democracy always leads to disintegration of society on the basis of social divisions.
The correct answer is Option D. Democracy always leads to disintegration of society on the basis of social divisions. Democracy is the best way to accommodate social diversity. In a democracy, it is possible for communities to voice their grievances in a peaceful manner. Due to political competition in a democracy, social divisions get reflected in politics. Question number 16. A majority of Belgians feel that they are much Belgians as they are Dutch or German speaking. What does it mean? Option A. They have lost their individual identity. Option B. This helps them to stay together. Option C. They are not happy with this arrangement. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option B. This helps them to stay together. The majority of Belgians now feel that they are as much Belgian as they are Dutch or German speaking. This helps them to stay together. This is how most people in our country see their unity. Question number 17. When did the Nationalists and the UK government arrive at an agreement? Option A. 1992. Option B. 1995. Option C. 1998. Option D. 1999. The correct answer is. Option C. 1998. It was only in 1988 that the UK government and the nationalist government arrive at an agreement. Question number 18. Which of these is true about the Protestants of Northern Ireland? Option A. They were represented by the Nationalist Party. Option B. They wanted to remain with UK. Option C. Both A and B. Option D. None of them. The correct answer is. Option C. Both A and B. The Catholics were represented by nationalist parties who demanded that Northern Ireland be unified with the Republic of Ireland, a predominantly Catholic country. The Protestants were represented by Unionists who wanted to remain with the UK. Question number 19. Which of these sentences is correct in relation to Yugoslavia? Option A. There was political competition along religious and ethnic lines. Option B. This led to the disintegration of Yugoslavia. Option C. As a result six independent countries have come to be set up. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. In Yugoslavia, political competition along religious and ethnic lines led to the disintegration of Yugoslavia into six independent countries. Question number 20. Which if this sentence is correct? Option A. The Catholics in Northern Ireland were represented by nationalist parties. Option B. They demand Northern Ireland should be unified with the Republic of Ireland. Option C. Republic of Ireland was predominantly Catholic country. Option D. All of them. The correct answer is. Option D. All of them. The Catholics were represented by nationalist parties who demanded that Northern Ireland be unified with the Republic of Ireland, a predominantly Catholic country. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonderslate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.